Hi everyone! You're watching Wildex Collaboration video tutorials. In this video, I will show you how to send a call to voicemail. It happens sometimes that we receive an incoming call, but we cannot answer it for some reason. Maybe we forgot to change our status into do not disturb or away. So here is our call and we would like to give uh, the caller an opportunity to leave us a voice message. So here is our first case. We have a call. We don't want to answer it. We press the arrow icon from the call dialog without answering the call. And then we simply click on the mailbox icon. That's it. Once you have a new voice message, you will have a notification here in collaboration and you can access this voicemail from our voicemail tab here from the top menu. Of course, you will also receive um, this voice message via email and to all of your Wildex devices, desk phone, mobile app, etc. Here is our second case. We have answered the call, but at some point during the conversation, we would like this person to access our voicemail and still leave us a message. Why? Well, I don't know. Maybe we would like this person to spell something, to dictate something, uh, a physical address, an email address, a phone number, and we don't have a pen to write it down. So I can do the same during a call. I can click on the arrow icon from the call dialog and click on the mailbox icon. And like that, the caller um, will be sent to my uh, voicemail. Here is our third case. I need to send the caller to another person's mailbox. So, uh, in this case, I need the person to leave a message, not for me, but for one of my colleagues. For example, imagine that I need to transfer a call to one of my colleagues, but uh, before transferring the call, I can see that this user is currently unavailable in do not disturb or away status. So, I can send the caller directly to the person's voicemail. Here is our call once again. I click again the arrow icon, I type the name of the contact and I click on the mailbox icon next to this contact. I can do it during a call or I can do it even without answering. I remind you that you can also set up call forwarding rules where, for example, all of your incoming calls will be sent to voicemail or to another phone number in case uh, you're busy or unavailable but we will talk about it in one of our next videos. That's it for today. Thank you for your time.